Boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding. So today we're going to look at how to check your pre-cats. As you know, the pre-cat can be a source of trouble uh, on these cars. If they disintegrate, then the pre-cat debris can go into the engine cylinders and cause damage and so on and so forth. This is documented elsewhere. So the car has a exhaust header with two catalytic converters on the header there under this heat shield. Can't really see them. But um, the way that you check them for damage is you need to remove the O2 sensor and uh, just look inside with a bright light and uh, you can tell pretty easily what's going on with your pre-cats by doing this. So that's what we're going to do. The uh, tool that I'm going to use for removing the O2 sensor out of the pre-cat is this uh, O2 sensor wrench. You can get this at any uh, um, auto parts store and it has this slot in it that allows you to pass the wire of the O2 sensor. Okay, so I'm going to show you how that fits onto the O2 sensor. Let me switch hands with the camera. So this goes on, this goes on, like so, okay. So as I said, the uh, slot allows the passage of the wire. And then I can take this wrench and uh, put it on the socket and turn the O2 sensor. So I'll do that in a minute, but first, before doing that, we need to disconnect this uh, O2 sensor wire from the harness. And that's pretty easy to do just by pressing this tab. Maybe I can even do it one-handed, I don't know. Tough, some things are tough to do one-handed. So just by pressing this tab and pulling on the end of the O2 sensor connector, it should come out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and then we'll resume after I remove the O2 sensor. So here is the wrench in position on the O2 sensor. Make sure that it is well seated on the O2 sensor so it does not strip it. And then we can just simply turn it. There, I broke it loose. Once it is broken loose, it can turn very easily. I've already disconnected this. So now I can just turn the O2 sensor by hand. And here's our O2 sensor, it looks pretty clean, good condition, they're relatively new, I can tell. And now we're going to try to look inside. So we're going to try to look inside. Okay, and there it is. I think you can see it pretty clearly that this O2 sensor matrix is a nice clean white color and it looks completely intact. Okay, so let's get better lighting so you can see as, as, as much as possible. There we go again. Uh, yeah, so you can see the matrix is nice and white and intact. So this O2 sensor, I mean this uh, pre-cat is okay. And uh, we can repeat the same thing with another O2 sensor, remove it and check its pre-cat because just because one pre-cat is okay doesn't necessarily mean that the other is also okay. 
So we would remove it the same way and disconnect its connector which is right there. And uh, that's how we go about checking the pre-cats. Thanks for watching.